And Rob, two teams that have really been disasters for the last two decades are showing us why right now. The first, of course, the Cleveland Browns. Jimmy Haslam, tw- how many years of ownership, Rob G? Check that out. 12 years, I think, of ownership with Jimmy Haslam. Rob G's not listening. Look at him. He's Rob just- G. Rob G, what are you listening Check to? Check on Jimmy Haslam's ownership. I turn think 12 off the, years. Turn off that Will no, we, Kane we, podcast. We just selected a new walk-up song for uh, Greg Jennings. All That's right. a tease for it's you. It's pretty good. All You're right. going to like it. It's better than <laughs> Diana <laughs> Ross and Muscles. Diana Ross it's better. song is anything but Muscles. Wow. That sounds like it, it doesn't, it's not a masculine song. Can I say? I don't know if you can say that in 2020. But it does, that's why it's so perfect. But you got a better one. All right. Um, but Rob G, Haslam's owned the Browns for what, 10 years? 12 years? So he's gone through six different coaches, and he's gone through several front general managers. He's seven years. He's been the owner. Well, yeah, say seven that years that he fired five okay. coaches, five GMs. Correct. He's been the owner for seven years. Yes, and he's fired five coaches and five general managers. I mean, come on. I don't care if every coach and general manager you hire is terrible. You got to stick with somebody at some point. You can't just expect dudes to turn it around in one year or two years. Only coach he gave more than two years was Hugh Jackson, and he got two and a half. So their ownership, that's a big problem. And then the other team, of course, Rob, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, they haven't been as bad as the Browns, but it's all about context, too. You're the Dallas Cowboys. I'm sorry. I don't expect you. You've won, what, five Super Bowls? Second most all time, and they had a dynasty when they won three out of four. Yeah, back when uh, Jimmy uh, Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson first took over, and since then, since they won that that third Super Bowl in uh, what was that ninety six, they've now in the last twenty five years, Chris, have won four playoff games, have never been back to the NFC Championship game. Forget about getting in there and having a chance to win and losing. They haven't even been. Right. To the NFC Championship game right. in 25 years. They've been horrible. And and again, context. I don't judge the Dallas Cowboys by the same standard I judge the Cleveland Browns by. I'm sorry. You're the Dallas Cowboys. You're like the Lakers. I don't judge the Lakers. Six years out of the playoffs would be nothing for some franchises. Right, but that's but a lot. But you're the Lakers. Exactly. All right, so, so both of those franchises have been horrible. And Jerry Jones, look. I don't know. I mean, now I don't think Jason Garrett's going to remain head coach. No, I still but don't believe they're that. Gonna, they're today, their third meeting, I mean, now the reports and the speculation is that he's going to have another job in the franchise. And I talked about that. I think they're going to come out and announce he's being reassigned. Right, or promoted to the front office. I'm telling you, Chris, because he has such a uh, – Jerry has such an affinity for, for Jason Garrett – doesn't want to embarrass him. Their families are intertwined. Yeah. His brother works for the organization. Yeah. There's all that. What do we keep saying? We use the term all the time, Chris. Jerry runs it like a mom and pop store. This is the greatest example right? of that. The great- and he There's doesn't want to. But this is the greatest. But he doesn't want to let. Oh my! I can't do this to Jason. He's in the family. Jason's He's been a around. Big boy. He's, right. He's I, a grown man. Yes. I and when get you it. get hired as a as a pro football coach, you know what happens. You get fired sometimes. Yep. Most people get fired. Bill Belichick got fired. Exactly. Everybody gets fired at some point. I mean, come on. So, and here, my thing, Rob, I look, I don't know if you can have Jason Garrett in football operations. I just think it's going to create more of the madness that you've had these last 10 years with Jerry being a guy you can go to. Now, it seems like a lot of players like Jason Garrett. They do. So they say he's a nice whoever, guy. Right. Whoever's the new head coach, now not only may I might go to Jerry, but I also might go to Jason. You know, man, we I we used to do it. It was better the way you did it. You know, your offense was better than this. We need to get back to that. I mean, that's you're gonna have all types of stuff. No, like you that. could have you could have a situation. That's why normally you need to break 
Yeah, you got to break, break free ties. And, and cut ties. Unless and let, he's going to be a marketer or advertiser you know for the website. And you know that. Oh, he's going to write a column. <laughs> Jason Garrett's column is going to be on DallasCowboys.com. <laughs> I can't wait to read his first column. <laughs> but you know, like you got to get him away. You couldn't even do a column because he'd be criticizing the team. Right, but you got to right. get him away from football. Where he's not uh, there all the time. The connection's too close. So I'm what sorry. was it? Ed Werder kind of had a little report about that, right? Well, that, that he might. That he might be. Yeah. That he, and I, I get it because it, it, makes only, it sense. It makes sense. If you look at I just don't think it's a smart move. No, I agree. But here's what I'm going to do about the Haslams, Chris. I hear what they've done in seven years, right? Seven you years. You gotta admit that's horrible. It's a lot, right? But uh, they, not but, a lot. That's horrible. But they also went through a, a winless season. They had one win, so they had some bad stuff go on. But I'll tell you what he did with John Dorsey. I totally, one hundred percent agreed, and I give him credit not to stay the course when that guy threw a monkey wrench in what you had put together. And hired an inexperienced How do you throw Freddie. A monkey Freddie Kitchen should have never got that job. You said it. I know it. You know it. Everybody knows it, Chris. John Dorsey tried to force Freddie Kitchens on all these veteran coaches who wouldn't even come for the interview, right? Okay. But are you right or wrong? Give me that. Right. I, I agree with you that all right. he made a mistake that was a, in hiring Freddie Kitchens. Yes, that was a big mistake. Did it have to be fatal? Yes, fatal. I mean, this is a guy that has a winning pedigree. I get and it. And this is a guy that let look there was a reason that people thought the Browns would be nice this year. There was a reason I picked them to make the playoffs this year. Well, you made a mistake. Because they had a lot of talent. And who put that talent together? That's only on paper, John though. Dorsey. But it's on paper. But Chris. I'm saying in in Kansas City, they were two and fourteen before he got there. He turned them around. Now they're one of the top franchises. So why did he get fired in, in Kansas NFL? City? I'm just saying. I'm asking you. All I'm saying is the dude has a track record and, but, of winning, and that's more I can than I can say for most of the people in that organization. Okay, and I'm going to say one that mistake. I, I just don't know. It, it I'm not going to say defend him to high heaven, but I'm just saying now you here's what they're going to do, Rob. They're going to hire the head coach and then let him have a say in picking the GM. That's backwards. No, and I get it, Mike. You can bring in certain guys that have that type of cachet. Mike McCarthy, I think you got to hire Mike McCarthy because I need an adult in that organization. And that, I need an older man who's got some respect. And he and Mike McCarthy would have it because he's already won a championship. And see, this is I think what the Haslam's are looking at, Chris, is that he's so he he's so messed up the whole situation in not realizing. With the, with the personalities he was putting together that you couldn't have a coach that the guys didn't respect. Do you know what I mean? Like, how did John Dorsey really think this was going to work? And he also, a lot of people looked at it and said he wound up giving Baker Mayfield too much credit and allowing him to pick the coach because he had a relationship with Freddie Kitchens. Why are you doing that with Baker Mayfield, a second-year guy? And you know what, what happened to him this year? He took two steps backwards. I agree. Right? That's where John Dorsey made a mistake. It's a fatal mistake. This team was not supposed to go backwards to 6-10, and 10, Chris. They were 7-8-1 last year. They added OBJ. They added all these other pieces, right? And they went backwards. They were worse than they were. That's why I think John Dorsey had to pay for it with his gig. Well, look, if you bring in the right head coach and you get the right structure in front office in place, I'll give you that. But I just think they're going about this thing backwards now. Now you're going to hire it better again. It better be Mike McCarthy. Cuz what if you if you hire a young guy even an Urban Meyer and there was a report that they're interested in Urban Meyer by our own Bruce Feldman and then Jimmy Haslam came out and said, right now they're focused on guys in the NFL. So he kind of shot it down, at least for the time being. And I I really like Urban Meyer. I think if the Cowboys hired him, that, that would be a good hire. But I don't, I don't my see only, them working together with, my only with, Jerry, question with Jerry Jones. My only question, in, I, I agree that I, Jerry would have to give him 
the reins, which I don't think he would do. And that's the problem, right? But I, I'm, I'm kind of assuming if they do hire him, that Urban will have told them and made sure, look, I'm going to be able to run things. But getting back to the Browns. I know what I would have told Jerry. Jerry, you've been doing it for 25 years, man. Let me. I'm a football guy. Right. I'm going to do right by you. You want to win another championship? Let me do this. I agree. I Let agree. me do this. I agree. But as far as the Browns, here's my only question about Urban Meyer. And obviously he's from Ohio and, you know, Ohio State, Bowling Green, great success at these places. But he hasn't coached in the NFL. It's and, another and, guy that is unproven. That's what they've been doing. And it doesn't right? always translate because no. Nick Saban failed in, right. in the NFL. A right. lot of guys have. Right. So Steve, that's my Steve only Spurrier thing. failed. Yep. Yep. That's my only question. I, if I'm the Browns, and you never know for sure, but I want a guy that's proven. If if they hire Mike McCarthy and it doesn't work, it's hard to kill him for that. No, right? that's the right hire, right? It just it just didn't work out. But I agree with that. That would be one where you would look and go, pedigree uh, walks into the the locker room. He automatically has respect. Yep. He has a ch- he has my championship ring. Yep. I've I worked with Aaron Rodgers. I coach Don't with tell Ed, me right. nothing. Don't tell me. I, I work with Aaron Rodgers. Right. We went on the road and won a Super Bowl. We beat Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. And and they'd have to Sit listen down, to that. Odell, and listen. Exactly. Really? I'm gonna try. You want to get a Super Bowl? Right. You trying to get there? Let me lead you. Yep. I'm trying to tell you. I've been there. This I've been to the mountaintop. I've worked with Aaron Rodgers. Baker, listen. Right. Sit. Shut up and listen. You look like you sound like a dad there. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you need – that's you what they need. You can see Chris being in there with his kid. Ch- I like sit authority. Down shut I was up. raised with authority. And, and a backhand. And I think that's good. Yeah, a, a backhand, a front hand, <laughs> a belt, all that. But that's what I think they need in Cleveland. Let me ask you this, Rob, and we'll throw it out to our callers. Jerry, Joan, we talked about two franchises where the ownership is kind of screwing things up. Who you got more faith in, Jerry Jones or, or Haslam? Haslam. Mm. I'm serious. Jerry has has a 25-year track record yeah. that yeah. he will not give up the reins. He continues to run it like it's his own personal play thing. And I just don't see him. Like, this late in the game, Chris, he's already in the Hall of Fame, right? He still wants mm-hmm. to do it his way. He will not he's give up the reins. He's got his Super Bowl. I know he he's, wants another one but badly. He got it. He's got three. But he wants it his way. He's got he doesn't three. want one the way he got the three. Yes. Right? Because he got three like he's that. He's got three. He wants his own. I'm, look, I think Jerry Jones is a better owner than Jimmy Haslam. But I agree with you. In in this immediate context, because he's not as hands-on as Jones, because he doesn't have his own radio spot every week, because he's not holding court for 30 minutes after every game. Right, even before the coach talks. Right. Because of those things, yeah, I'm going with Jimmy Haslam. Who do you trust more, Jimmy Haslam and the Browns or Jerry Jones of the Cowboys? Let's start with Bryce in Virginia. Bryce, you're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, Chris and Rob. Love you guys to death. Thank Um, you. Thank you. Not that I agree with Rob or your Rob. You're saying it's got to go, my man. It's got to (laughs) go. Come on. I wasn't that bad, right? Rob was uh, was okay. (laughs) Pretty bad (laughs) stuff there. But that being said, I kind of changed my mind while I was on hold here. Because I don't have a problem with Jerry Jones as an owner because he's getting close. But him as a general manager is the problem. He's the one that went with the woozy A who couldn't cover his face um, all year long. He had a chance to get Jamal Adams. He had a chance to get Earl Thomas. But he wouldn't give up a fourth-round draft pick for either one. You can't be an owner and a GM and be effective, I don't believe. And I think... We haven't I, seen I, it. We definitely haven't seen it happen. Hardly anybody else even tries it. Right, because you know? they don't know football right, well right. enough. He thinks because no. he played that he knows. I'm with you because I think Jerry Jones is a better owner. I mean, you look at the value of the franchise, and sure. obviously they stay in the news, which even though it's for negative things, they're in the news. I mean, we're always talking sure. Cowboys. But he's too involved, and sure. Haslam's involved too, but not yep. to this degree. Hey, All right, Bryce, Bryce, thank you. How about Keith in Peora, Illinois? You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Keith? How you doing, fellas? How's it going? Man, great. Man, great. How are you? 
It's good to hear from you, fellas. Good to have you guys back again. Yeah, Rob, you got to do something about that voice, brother. Oh, my God. Oh, said, man. Hey, I noticed oh, they keep oh, saying oh. you. Chris, <laughs> and what Chris happened? sounded good. No, oh, see, Chris yeah. drowned me out. That's why you think it was <laughs> me. You out. Is that what it was? <laughs> hey, fellas, I might be a little biased because I'm a cowboy, diehard cowboy fan. Me, myself, I don't have problems with what Jerry does too much. I know he's a little meddling and stuff like that, but if I owned a team, I'd have somewhat of a say about what was going on also. Would you, you would be out there like Jerry. Jerry. But after 25 years, though, Keith, and you haven't won Jack? I understand where you're coming from. He needs a disciplinarian again. That's what he needs. Somebody that's going to hold players, as you said, Chris, earlier, accountable for their actions. But it's hard no to be drama. a disciplinarian when I know I can go speak to the owner. Right. If you get on my nerves, I'm going to talk to I'm Jerry. I'm going to go right to Jerry. He's right. right outside the locker room, or he might <laughs> well, be in the, the locker room. The, <laughs> like you said, get the right coach, get the right person in there that's going to demand discipline and demand the players be accountable for themselves. You don't need penalties when you at the third and 15 and you didn't stop the person, but you didn't got a holding penalty for this and that. Some of the foolish stuff that they do, dropping passes and things of that nature, that's stuff you hold players accountable for. Coaches can't help that. All right. Coaches teach you the game. No, Thank no you, doubt. Keith. Let's go to Jerry in Nashville. Jerry, you on with Chris and Rob. Hey, what's up, man? What's well, first of all, I want to say, I'm like, I, I enjoy hearing you, brother, sing. Um, that brings back a lot of memories of my grandmother when I was a kid. I was a little kid. She was watching that on TV land with the Jeffersons. So <laughs> big kudos for y'all singing that, man. It made me laugh on the way home. Man. There we Thank go. You. Yeah, you, we always try to have fun on Thursdays, Thank no you. doubt. All right. Second point is, hey, man, I, I, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with Chris on this one. I think, I think Jimmy Haslam is a better owner for the simple fact is, yeah, he makes some mistakes, you know, trying to figure out who to – who to coach and things like that, but Jerry has got to stop. Twenty five years is long enough. You need a, you need you need to back away. Be a good owner. Still do your yapping, but do it from afar. I like Haslam better. He stays out of the out of the way. He lets all the folks. He's be more about so him. than Jerry. Right, yeah. right. No yeah. doubt, no and, doubt, and, Jerry. And, and, and I agree. like. Here's the thing, Jerry Jones has to understand, Rob. He's gonna get credit if they win a Super Bowl. You'll get credit. You will get credit because everybody knows involved, right. right. But but just step away. Like, okay, you tried to do it your way for a long time, and you should look at the results and be like, you know what, this just isn't working. I need some. I need help. Right. I need somebody else. Mark in Sacramento, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Mark? What's going on, gentlemen? You know what? You guys keep singing, and now go find good times to go with that. You okay. guys will be right on the money. Oh, good times <laughs> might be next, DJ. Yeah, hey, is good there. time. Are you going to sing with us when when we sing good times? <laughs> good times is a good one too. I, I don't That's the what same. You guys, isn't it the I'm, same I'm singer? Like isn't I'm it the same singer in both songs? It's, it's because it's Rolona. Rolona. Rolona sang. Did she sing good yeah. times though? She sang. Uh, uh, she definitely sang the Jefferson. Jefferson, yeah. No but go ahead, Mark. What's your point? Hey, real guy, guys. This might sound kind of strange coming from me being a Raider fan, but I do believe Jerry Jones kind of learned how to do this from Al Davis, who always right. was involved in saying the buck stops with Al Davis. Rich guys like those guys, they don't give up control until they get sick, can't remember, or have to turn it over because of health reasons, or their team gets taken from them. <laughs> that's the only way nah, to that's, give it up. That's, you, you know right. what? You're right about that. Because Al Davis and it's interesting. Al Davis had his little run, right? Yeah. Right. Early on. Yeah, you yeah, know they used to win. They, yeah. John Madden was yeah. the coach. The, yep. the Raiders were the real deal. Yep. But then it he fades. Learned how, he learned how to market the Cowboys from what Al Davis had done, and and tried to broker his own deal. And Al Davis did, did that as well. Right. So he learned from Al Davis. Here's the other thing I want to say before the game, man. And that I'm gonna take Jerry Jones because I hate to say it, but the Cowboys do put together great rosters, and he has his son. So whenever he wants to do something like draft Johnny Manziel, his son goes, "No, we're not drafting Johnny Manziel, Dad." So I think mean, he's got that guardrail in there at some point to kind of pull him back. Yeah, I think that. Steven's pretty good. I mean, because they do I'm get, good. they have got no, talent. they they draft right. well, but so, but yeah. but it hasn't it hasn't been able to uh, turn into right. turn the into a, bad. Right, the culture's right. bad. Right. What's happening, y'all? It's Chris Broussard. I'm Rob Parker. And we are The, the Odd, Odd Couple. Couple. Check us out as often as you can on YouTube. And always remember, I'm Oscar and he's Felix. Oh, man. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs>